Here I have a video of Michael Bloomberg at some conference for rich pricks. And this just went viral on Twitter. You're about to see why that is. In this clip, he's arguing basically that it's virtuous to tax the poor. Say, well, taxes are regressive, but in this case, Yes, they are. That's the good thing about them, because the problem is in people that don't have a lot of money. And so higher taxes should have a bigger impact on their behavior and how they deal with themselves. So I listen to people saying, oh, we don't want to tax the poor. Well, we want the poor to live longer so that they can get an education and enjoy life. And that's what, why you do want to do exactly what a lot of people say you don't want to do. The question is, do you want to pander to those people or do you want to get them to live longer? And there's just no question. If you raise taxes on full sugary drinks, for example, they will drink less. And there's just no question that full sugar drinks are one of the major contributors to obesity. And obesity is one of the major contributors to heart disease and cancer and a variety of other things. Mm. So it's like saying, I don't want to stop using coal because coal miners will go out of work, well, will lose their jobs. We have a lot of soldiers in the United States and the U.S. Army, but we don't want to go start a war just to give them something to do. And that's exactly what you're saying when you say, well, let's keep coal killing people because we don't want coal miners to lose their jobs. The truth of the matter is there aren't very many coal miners left anyways, and we can find other things for them to do. But the comparison is a life or a job, or taxes or life. Which do you want to do? Take your poison. This guy is the living caricature, parody, stereotype of the elitist, out-of-touch, nanny state Democrat who wants to get in your life, have big government get in your life, in every which way that big government shouldn't be involved in your life. Now, I'm not one of those people who says, you know, small government's always a good thing. No, it depends what the issue is. Sometimes you do need big government. But what I don't want big government for is to get in your life when it comes to personal decisions and make those decisions for you and take away your basic social freedoms. That's where I don't want big government. Michael Bloomberg does want big government in all those areas, and then when it comes to areas where we should have big government, he doesn't want it. So notice, how telling is this, guys? He's like, oh, all the health problems associated with sugary drinks, bro, it's such a bad problem. Good point. So everybody should have health care as a right and not a privilege to deal with that, right? Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't say that. I'd rather just force you to stop drinking them by using the law against you. Hey, Mike, let me ask you a question, man. What are your vices? You know he has them. Everybody has vices. Everybody has vices. What are your vices? What are they? I'm curious. Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you like drinking alcohol? What is it? What's your vice? Everybody has a vice. What's your vice? How would Michael Bloomberg like it if somebody in the government just decided to ban it one day? nonchalantly because that person that person decided they know what's best for you i don't like that thing that you do and that you have and that you enjoy i'm gonna take that away i don't like it it's not good it has bad societal consequences i'm going to ban it this is what he did with the large drinks i don't like that it's i don't like it i'm gonna ban it it's not good i don't like i don't care if you don't like it or not who are you who are you are you kidding me what a ridiculous thing man they want to take away your social freedoms. That's exactly what he wants to do, and he's admitting it. Guys, he said, taxes are regressive on the poor, and that's good. He's in favor of taxing the poor more so they don't get into bad habits. Oh my god, he's thinking about this in the exact wrong way. Maybe a lot of the, the social problems are caused by the poverty... And if we get people out of poverty, then maybe the social ills will start going down. That's what I think will happen. That's what I think will happen. Now, will that solve every problem? No, if you get people out of poverty. But getting people out of poverty in and of itself is a goal that is positive. 
I don't need to measure the rest of the stuff around it to determine whether or not getting people out of poverty is a good thing. Getting people out of poverty is inherently a good thing. It's a tautology. But that's not the way he thinks about it. He thinks like, oh, people in poverty oftentimes make bad decisions. Let's ban those bad decisions. But those people are still in poverty. Those people are still in poverty. Are you okay with that? His answer is yes, because he doesn't want to do anything to stop that. Which is why uh, Michael Bloomberg blocked a minimum wage increase when he was mayor of New York City. He's not in favor of a minimum wage increase. And now this guy is running to be the Democratic nominee. How embarrassing are you, man? Honestly, this guy's embarrassing. So he's, he's the perfect example of a totally out-of-touch, tone-deaf billionaire. Listen, if you're poor, you're like first on the list that I want to allow you to have that blow-off steam valve to let you in indulge in your vice because it's a miserable state of affairs being poor. And sometimes you need a beer. Sometimes you need a giant soda. Sometimes you need a cigarette. Sometimes, I don't know, you need fill in the blank with whatever, whatever vice. But this isn't how he thinks about it. He wants to social engineer. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. I'm, I'm what I would call a libertarian leftist. Libertarian on social issues, leftist on economic issues. He is basically an authoritarian centrist. Authoritarian corporatist. Authoritarian in the sense that he wants to control your life on, when it comes to social issues. And centrist corporatist in the sense that he wants to basically defend the status quo when it comes to the economic issues. Hence, you know, him being against the minimum wage increase, him being against Medicare for all. I mean, how telling is it that he looks at like a, a, an obesity crisis and his solution is not, you know, part of his solution is not maybe we should do preventative care and maybe we should have Medicare for all so that everybody has the health care that they need and they deserve. You save lives that way. 30 to 45,000 people die because they don't have access to basic health care. That's not how he thinks about it. He looks at it and he goes, well, if I just take more money from poor people, what are poor people lacking? Money. If I just take more money from them, well, then I'm taking away their ability to indulge in their bad habits and I'm effectively forcing their hand to be more healthy. That's just evil. <laughs> That's just evil, man. That's evil. This guy. He's a child. He's a child who never grew up. And he just wants to social engineer everything around him. And since he has the billions of dollars, he's put himself in a position where he can try to scratch that itch. I mean, he's bought legitimacy already in this race. $37 million ad buy. And then now, as a result of that, his ads are running all over the place. I see him all the time here in New York. His ads are running all over the place. The media is talking about him like he's a serious candidate now. And it's only it's because he's a billionaire. Is he, is he able to get into this position solely based off the power of his ideas and his philosophy and his popularity? No. Only 19% of the Democrats even want him to run. Never mind support him because 19% don't support him. Only 19% even say he should run. And he's doing it. This is some oligarch stuff, man. And when you hear him talk, you that is traditional oligarch stuff. Regressive taxes on the poor are good because the poor have bad habits. So take away more of their money and they can't indulge in their bad habits. Yeah, run on that. Let me know how that goes in 2020.